Hello everyone, I am Ishan from IshanDesigns.com. In this video, I will tell you how to fix the page is not working HTTP error 500. And also, we are unable to log into WordPress. So we are logged out. The page is not working HTTP error 500 is due to some error in the hosting or we can say it is a server side error. It might occur due to malware or a virus attack on your website. What these hackers do they made some unwanted additions or changes in the code of your website from backend that may cause errors like this. The page is not working HTTP error 500. So in order to fix the HTTP error 500, you need to follow simple two steps. First is to find out the malware location in your hosting. And second is to delete that malware or unwanted code from the particular location. So let's start with the first step to find out the malware or virus location. We need to know where exactly the error is present in the code. To find out that you need to log into cPanel or also we call it control panel. In order to log into cPanel, type in the domain name like my domain yoga.ishandesigns.com forward slash cPanel. Here you need to enter your username and password of cPanel. You can also log into cPanel by logging into the hosting provider website. Once you are logged in to the cPanel, use control plus F keys on your keyword in order to search for I and I. Here you see the link multi PHP I and I editor. Click on it. Under settings, select a location. Here you need to select the domain where you are getting the error HTTP 500. So here I choose my domain where I'm getting the error. Once you select it, you find display underscore errors option. Here you see this option is disabled. You need to enable it. So I'm enabling it and then click on apply option on the left bottom of the page. When you click on apply, you see the notification successfully applied the settings. Now go back to the website where you are getting the HTTP error 500 and refresh the page. Now you will see the exact error. It is a parse error, syntax error. And this is the location of the file. It is in line 52 of functions.php file which is present under WP hyphen include folder. The attacker has made some changes in the code in this functions.php file. So guys, we have found the location of the file. Now let's move to the second step. Remove the malware from that location. In order to make changes in the functions.php file, you need to go to cPanel again. Click on the cPanel option present at the left top and now click on file manager. Follow this path which is mentioned here. It might be different for you. For me it is yoga.ishandesigns.com wp includes and then functions.php. I am searching for the folder yoga.ishandesigns.com here you see many folders because I am using the hosting plan for multiple domains. These all are my domains and subdomains. If you have only one domain linked with your hosting, then the path would be different like public underscore HTML folder, then WP hyphen include and then functions.php. You simply have to follow the path of the file location. So let me search for the folder yoga.ishandesigns.com. I click on it. Now search for WP hyphen includes and click on it. Now I scroll down and look for functions.php. So this is the file where some code is added or changed. Right click on it and click on edit. Now we need to look for line number 52 of the code as per the error. You see this red cross mark. This shows the error. You guys might not know the coding. No need to worry. I want to tell you a very important thing that there is a syntax when you write some code. 
in php the code always starts with bracket question mark and then php but here at the beginning of the file the code starts with something like at ini underscore set so that means someone added code here due to which you are getting an http error 500 select the code from the beginning and scroll down till line 52 carefully select the code till this point that is before this bracket question mark php and delete it you can also copy and paste this code in your notepad for safer side if something goes wrong you can put it back now you can see the php code is starting with syntax that is less than question mark php now you need to select the code after php till this bracket and remove this also here you see the comment section main wordpress api so wordpress uses this format and if you scroll down you see the complete coding of your website once you delete the unwanted code that i mentioned earlier click on save changes go back to the website and refresh the page So guys the website is back on and working absolutely fine so in this way you can get rid of virus from your website and can also fix the page is not working http error 500 in simple two steps step number one search for the error location and step number two remove the unwanted code from that location if you find this video helpful like the video subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notification when i upload a new video thank you very much for watching this video this was ishan from ishandesigns.com